The way things are, like if I keep on carrying on, then maybe I'll look through my first ever May fight. So, who are you? I'm, I'm not joking. <laughs> so you're, you're uh, how long here in Thailand at this time? Um, I think it's been... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, you're here in beautiful Thailand. How long have you been here for? Um, so my fight was on the 10th of June, so I got here about the 5th. Um, Samui, I came to two days after, and I just keep extending my booking because I love it so much. So I'm actually going home in two days. So I think two in days. total it's been about six weeks. Six weeks? Really? I think so, yeah. That's yeah. gone so quick. Yeah, it has. Really quick. Holy shit. And you've been, you've tried jujitsu? Yep. Yeah. How many lessons have you had of that? I've done 10 private classes and one group class. Right. Yeah, I enjoy it. Ten. Learning something new. Yeah. I've done um, also calisthenics and swimming alongside Thai. I thought while yeah. I'm here, I haven't got a fight coming up. Just try different things, see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And are you going to follow follow up with that jujitsu? When you get back to England? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely keep it up. Um, I really enjoy it. I think the way things are, like if I keep on carrying on, then maybe I'll look to do my first MMA fight in a couple of years, but I know it, you know, I'm still a beginner, so it yeah. takes a long time. Oh, the cameras can't see my excited face. Yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> That'd be awesome, that really would. Yeah. Because you, you, you're used to the 10 ounce gloves now? Uh, four ounce. Four ounce, sorry. Yeah, four ounce. Yeah, four ounce in my bag. Yeah, I'm used to that. Um, and also, obviously, I've got my tie, so it is just for groundwork and wrestling. Yeah. But I, I pick stuff up quite quick, yeah. I feel. So even in 10 sessions, I, I feel like I've learned a lot. Yeah, um, definitely. And I think you got the strength for wrestling as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's lots of it. It's like, you know, we're using the body weight and stuff. Like we're doing clinch. Yeah. So it's kind of easy to change it up a little bit. Yeah. And, excuse the question, but when you first started mm. trying jiu-jitsu, did you find it awkward? Like, yeah. except I've not done jiu-jitsu, yeah. but, yeah. and partly because it looks slightly awkward to me. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is a weird thing, but I, I just see it like, if someone done Thai, we get a lot of people saying, if you do clinch, they get, get uncomfortable. Yeah. It's just so close. Yeah, and, that's me, yeah. But, you know, I think I just thought that and yeah. it was alright. Yeah, my uh, ex-girlfriend, you remember, Ashley? Yeah. She started jiu-jitsu and uh, I used to joke about it. But from someone who doesn't know anything about it, it looks like it's proximity, it's very close. Yeah. And uh, she said to me, um, if someone's trying to break your arm, what are you thinking about? Yeah. Is that, oh, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> that's a good yeah. way of putting it. I, I really enjoy it because it's yeah. like kind of like yeah you could do Thai boxing if you really need it but yeah. jiu-jitsu you, you know it's real life yeah like you can adapt absolutely. it a lot better yeah and I, I, it, I, I joke about jiu-jitsu but mm. for me I think it's the most effective yeah. uh, self-defense martial art for sure yeah I think so yeah um, and I don't think anyone could really argue with that no uh, and, I, and I think I think every uh, woman, girl should should be learning it for self defence. I think yeah. it's been proven. Definitely. Uh, changing subjects now. Sponsorship. Mm -hmm. uh, there's. I've never met another fighter that knows how to treat sponsors yeah? as oh, well as you do. That's good. <laughs> Have you got any tips for any youngsters looking for sponsorship? Yeah. Um... And how to keep sponsorship. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I've got some great sponsors now. They sponsor me bout by bout. Um, and I feel like people forget, you know, even the little tags in, in different things, um, just to keep on promoting. And, you know, it, it's one second to put someone on your story yeah. out of all the work they're then thinking of doing for you. So 
just to, you know, I always write a list on my notes, write all their Instagram tags down, all their Facebook tags, whatever. And then you can just copy and paste it when you need to. It, yeah. it, it does take one second. You need to remember who helps you out. Yeah, absolutely. So I see so many fighters, they'll get a, a sponsor for, for a fight, it'll go on the fight banner. Yeah. And then that's the last you hear of it. Yeah. But I, yeah. I literally see you just from out of nowhere, you'll just post something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Even my fight's been, and I'm still trying to. Yeah. You know, yeah. Push. Yeah. Yeah. I know sponsors yeah. really appreciate that. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, look, where did you learn that from? Is that your dad or know. your mum? My dad's good with media. Your your dad is. He used is to be good, like yeah. that, so yeah. I'm guessing from there, but. I overthink a lot, so I'm probably like, oh my god, who have I forgotten? That's <laughs> my, um, it's probably a good trait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your, um, how is your dad? This dad yeah. might not make it in, but... I'm... Yeah, no, he's really good. Um, he's, obviously, I've moved up to Leeds now, so he took over a new gym. It's a bigger premises, back to Penzance when he started, yeah. so... It's going well. Um, he's especially into, like, doing for side classes for mental health, like, every morning. It's really growing, it's like a separate project, yeah. so oh, wow. and it's going really well. And is that what his moustache is for? Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't actually asked him, but I don't think it is. <laughs> so, uh, you're at Bad Company? Yeah, Bad Company Leeds now. And tell us about that, why did you uh, go to Bad Company? Yeah. Um, so I've been, you know, not really liking living in Cornwall for a long time now. Um, like many people know, it's right at the bottom of the country. It's a bit of a dead end. You got to travel yeah. everywhere to get anywhere. So um, that was one reason. Also, it's hard to run a gym and train at the same time. I'm on one, so I really need all the focus on you know my training. And when yeah, I was in the absolutely. gym, yeah, I, you know, I was dealing with the running of the gym, management, trying to train. Um, obviously, Dad would come in and train me, but for Dad and daughter, things hard. Yeah. So. Uh, I've been visiting Bad Company before every fight and I just thought, you know what, just move because they're surrounded by one championship fighters up there, they know what they're doing in the little gloves and you know, they're all really friendly and welcoming so yeah. it's, it's the best thing I've done is move. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I mean all the work I've done in the past obviously has got me where I am now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I feel like... You know, I need to I need to mix it up for my own head as well. Try something new and yeah, get get the love back for it. And yeah. I think with me being in a new environment and away from distractions, yeah. I, I needed that. Yeah, because your your dad's an amazing coach. Yeah, he's an amazing yeah. coach. There's a whole yeah. list of fighters that he's that he's produced. Yeah. Um, but every coach has different techniques, different things yes. that you can learn from. Kind of Definitely. just moving about. Yeah. Um, what else was it? Sponsorship was the main one. We covered that well quick, but yeah. that's fine. <laughs> uh, what What was your first impression when uh, when I first started working with your mum? And, and also, technically, you you were thirteen or something like that. Yeah, twelve I, maybe. <laughs> I actually popped up on my memories the other day. A photo you took with me, you, and Lucy. With our belts. Oh, that was that was in the leisure centre. Yeah, that was uh, you were fifteen there. Yeah, yeah, I'm and I'd, sweet, been, yeah, I'd yeah. been working with your mum for two years before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird because we didn't see each other for years. Yeah, and then I think I bumped into you at a show, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And uh, now we're on holiday together. <laughs> well, you're living <laughs> well, here, but <laughs> yeah. So what do you make of Amber? This is your second time here, isn't it? Um, third time now. Third time. Yes. Yeah. Um, I love it. I've been in the evening, so this is my first time daytime. Yeah. It looks completely different. Yeah. But also the food is my favourite. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the really food, good. yeah. Uh, you're you're an athlete, so you eat healthily, but I have the burger here. Oh yeah? It's the best burger is on it? the island. Yeah. <laughs> That's an excuse for me to yeah. try it now. Yeah. <laughs> but they uh, nicely opened for us, just so uh, yeah. you and I can have this interview. That's really sweet. Yeah. And the owner, Kaylee, she... Uh, <laughs> she <laughs> chuckled when she found out your last name is Kitchen. Did she? Because it's an Amber Kitchen. <laughs> it's very fitting. Yeah. Her daughter's called Amber as well. Yeah? yeah. Oh, is that why? I don't know, actually. I don't know. No. So, what about the, the sauna and steam room? Are you good with them? Saunas are very traumatic for me. Like, I get in there, 
Like, I won't even be here. <laughs> get me out. I, I just, five minutes and I'm, I need to get out. But it's like for weight cuts. I've been weight cutting yeah. all my life. And it's just torture. So are you are you talking about the steam room or the sauna? The uh, sauna. Yeah. But all, all the steam room's just as bad for me. Okay. That I struggle with the steam room. Like, I, yeah. I, I need to I'll go in there and I start panicking. And then yeah. all of a sudden I can't breathe at all. I just have to remind myself to chill out and then I'm all right. But I can only do about seven minutes in there, really. Yeah. When I'm, like, some saunas I've done for, like, over an hour. On the During cuts. weight cuts? More than that. Yeah. yeah. Traumatic. Not good. Yeah. Hence why I got a nutritionist now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're here with Mia Trevorrow. <laughs> Who's there? Yeah. Just waiting patiently. You're do you've got a photo shoot here, is that right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna look very good in that ice bath. <laughs> do photos. <laughs> no, I I am um, I'm probably gonna do film it for a like yeah. behind the scenes. I'm actually uh, such then. a worse though. Even even this cold pool here I can't get in. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Me is good at it. I just go in the hot pool. Like I, I like the normal pool when you can sit on the bean bag. Yeah. The hot and cold ones. On. <laughs> you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> accommodating here, I love it. Um, fight supplies, thank you. Bones and label. Um, my mum, cheers mum. And Muay Thai addict, so thank you for always supporting me. 